Hi everyone, I'm delighted that you're coming to join me in today's yoga practice. So we're going to start with the short center. So I want you to come to sitting in whatever way feels comfortable for you once your spine is straight. So for me, I'm using my meditation stool. You can sit easy cross-legged. You can lie on the floor. You can sit in a, a chair with a straight back, whatever is most comfortable for you. So now, once you've got yourself ready and comfortable, I want you to close your eyes. And let your shoulders fall away from your ears. Allow your arms to be heavy, your legs heavy. But feel yourself really stable in your base. And from that stable base, feel a lightness in your spine spiraling up. Crown of your head being drawn up. And again, checking shoulders falling away from your ears. And now take a breath in and just let it go and again breathing in and letting it go now bring your attention to the breath in and out through the nostrils And for a few moments, just watch and feel your ordinary breath. Just allowing yourself to settle. And now we're going to think about deepening our breath. So on your next in breath, as you breathe in, directing the breath down into your belly. Feeling your belly rising as you breathe in, falling as you breathe out. Each time you exhale in your mind, think soft. time you exhale in your mind, think release. Each time you exhale in your mind, think letting go, letting go, letting go. And remember with relaxed breathing, your inhale is active but gentle, but the exhale is completely passive. The breath drifts effortlessly away. And as you watch and feel that movement of breath in your body, let your attention now drift to the very tip of your nostrils. And be aware of the coolness of the breath as you breathe in. The warmth of the breath as you breathe out. Keeping your attention to the tip of the nostril, be aware of cool breath in, warm breath out. Cool breath in, warm breath out.
And now let that practice go. Let's take a moment to scan down over your body. Notice as you're breathing now, a little slower, deeper. And notice your mind. Does it feel a little quieter? Now keeping that feeling of softness, of release, Keeping that focus on our breath, we're going to let our attention come back. So start moving your fingers, wriggling your toes, rolling your shoulders back. A couple of times, just letting your head gently move from side to side. And now we're going to come down onto the floor to stretch out, to loosen out before we move into our asana practice. So come down to lying and I want you to stretch the arms overhead, stretch right into the fingers, right into the toes. Full body stretch. And then use your exhale to completely release. And now stretch right fingers, left toes, and release, and left fingers, right toes, and release. And now bend up the knees and draw the knees in, hugging them in, feeling that lower back lengthening, and give yourself a little gentle rock side to side. Draw the knees into your chest on an exhale, releasing back on an inhale. Next time, go a little wider with the knees, drawing them in, releasing back. And again, on the next exhale, drawing them in, coming a little bit wider, and then releasing back. And bring the knees in together, and as you do, bring the fingers facing forward on the knees. And we're going to move into the pelvic clock. So you start with your knees drawn right into your chest. It's 12 o'clock. And you're going to move down through one, two, three, down towards six, towards the tailbone, and back up again to 12 o'clock. As you do this, you should feel that it's really easing and coaxing release in the lower back and your pelvis. As you come to 12 o'clock, feel the lower back flattening. As you move down towards six, feel it arching. And then start moving back in the opposite direction, circling on the pelvis. Nice, slow, rhythmic circles. Easing out your back, easing out the pelvis. And now bring the feet down onto the floor, feet are together, knees are together. Bring the arms out to shoulder height. And we're going to do a very gentle, easy lying twist. So just roll your shoulders down, make sure the backs of your hands are on the floor. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, the knees go to one direction, head looks over the other. Breathing in, come back up to the center and breathing out over to the other side. So everyone's breathing rate is a little different and I want you to let the bre your breath lead the movement. On an inhale, it's always coming back up to the center and on your exhale, going to the other side. So after your centering, your breathing should be nice and slow and the movement should just follow the breath. A 
And remember as the breath slows, the body relaxes. And it's in that softness and the body relaxing that you will find release. So coming back up to the center now, we want to draw the knees in again, hugging them in side to side. So now we're going to do a little bit of a hamstring stretch. So I want you to put your right foot down onto the floor, the knee bent. This helps to protect your lower back. And you're going to stretch up into the left heel, stretching up. And then bending the knee into your chest again, drawing it in, feeling that nice squeeze in on the belly, and then stretching back up into your head. And then once more, drawing the knee in and stretching up. And now with that leg stretched up nice and straight, and it doesn't matter at what point you come up to, if it's back here, that's absolutely fine. Just find that point where you feel a nice stretch, but your leg isn't quivering. You can coax it a little bit towards you on an exhale, releasing back on an inhale. And now we're going to just mobilize up your ankle, pointing the toes towards the ceiling and then into the heel again, and then circling. So circling the foot. And back in the opposite direction. Keeping the leg quite still, so the movement is in the ankle. You may feel lots of kind of clicks and so on, and that's absolutely fine. And now drawing the knee in again, place the left foot down onto the floor, and now draw the right knee in, squeezing it in, stretching up into the right heel. And again, draw the knee in, and stretching up. And then knee to the chest again, stretching up. Again, keeping the, the leg straight, you can support the backs of your thighs with your hands. If you can't reach, you can put a belt around so that you can hold um, your leg to support it. And then point the toe to the ceiling, stretching into the heel, pointing the toe again. And now let's circle. So loosening out. The ankle mobilizing up the ankle joint and then back in the opposite direction. And now draw both knees into your chest, hugging them in and just giving a little bit of a rock side to side. So from here we're going to roll over now and we're going to come on up to you. So we're coming into tabletop. So a nice flat back. Hands are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips. And we're going to move into cat. So always start with the tailbone. So on the exhale, we start tucking the tailbone under, feeling that uh, belly moving up into your spine, shoulders rounding, and head drops down, stretching up through the shoulders. On an in-breath, tilting the tailbone up, feeling that arch moving into your lower back, feeling the openness in the chest, and looking up. And we're going to do a few rounds of cat, but again, you're letting the breath lead the movement. So I want you to follow your own breath with this. Always start the movement with the tailbone. Tilting the tailbone up, arching in the lower back and looking up. And just feel that lovely massaging movement up and down the spine. back to tabletop again and we're going to let the hips back onto our heels stretch the hands out into hair the ears are level with your arms 
hips are moving back down towards your heels. So in hair position, it's sometimes quite nice to come up into tabletop. And as you move back, really feel that you're extending down towards your tailbone, lengthening back. And you can move up and down a couple of times to just feel that really nice extension, that length in your back. So now we have lengthening our back straight, extending it. And now we're going to move the hands over towards the left. And you can really feel that stretch now moving down the right side of your body across the right shoulder, right rib cage. Move the hands back into the center again. And now walk them over towards the right, keeping that shoulder distance between your hands, feeling that stretch right across the left shoulder, left rib cage and breathe. And now come back to the center to hair again. And now from this hair position we're going to come up onto all fours, tuck the toes under and we're going to come into downward dog. So I want you to tuck the toes under and lift your knees. Just lift your knees slightly off the floor first and now your intention is to draw the hips right back. Tailbone going right back towards the wall behind you and then up. So you're really working on the extension in your spine. Think of your belly coming back towards your thighs. And now we can think about working the heels down towards the floor, but I want you to do it separately. So extend the left heel down first, you're onto the right toes. And now extend the right heel down. And now the left. So feel that you're really working the calves, that Achilles tendon. And then bend the knees again and come back into that really nice extension in downward dog. And now we're going to add a little bit more of a twist. So as we stretch down into the left heel, I want you to turn and look under the right armpit. As you stretch down into the right heel, turn now and look under the left armpit. And we do that once more to either side. Stretching down into the left heel, turning and looking under the right armpit and now stretching into the right heel, turning, looking down under the left. So again, back into downward dog. And now what we're going to do is extend the leg back up. So stretching the right leg back up. Now bend the knee and open back the leg. Come back into your downward dog. Stretch the left leg back, bend the knee, open back the hip. Come back again into downward dog. You can repeat this again once more on either side. For anyone who just needs a break, all you need to do is drop your knees to the floor and stretch back again into here. Taking a few breaths in that position. So we're going to come up onto all fours again. Tuck the toes under, lift your knees. Take yourself back up into downward dog again. Now we're going to do a little bit more for weight bearing up through the arms and into the shoulders and working the hips a little bit. We're going to bring the right knee forward to the outside of the right elbow. Come back into downward dog. And then bring the left knee to the outside of the left elbow. And back again into downward dog. Again, depending on how you feel, you can repeat this a number of times. 
or you can take a break where you drop the knees to the floor and you stretch back into here. So coming up again, tuck the toes under, lift your knees, take yourself back up into downward dog, stretching back down into the heels. And feeling that really, really nice extension. From here, we can come forward. Think straight, straight, straight arms, legs, rolling the shoulders back into upper dog. Bending the knees, coming right back up again. Again, if you need to rest, you can by dropping the knees or just repeat, thinking straight legs, straight arms, coming through, dropping the hips at the last minute, up into your downward dog. Bending the knees, back up into downward dog. So now drop the knees, and come back into hair for a well-deserved break. If you like, you can bring your arms back by your side, resting into pose of the child. So now, what we're going to do after all of that extension in the back, we've freed up our upper back quite a bit. So we're going to bring another little bit of twist or torsion into it with threading the needle. So we're going to come to all fours again. And we're going to bring the back of the right hand through, coming through, bringing the right ear and shoulder resting on the floor. With the left hand, you can press the hand a little bit more into the floor, getting an extra little bit of torsion, encouraging yourself to turn a little bit more, looking up towards the ceiling. And then come back and stretch the left arm out, stretching it out straight. Feeling that really nice extension in the arm to stretch across your shoulders. And feeling that really nice twist in your upper back. Take several breaths in this position. Nice, slow, rhythmic breathing. And now slowly come back onto all fours again. We're going to go to the opposite side. This time we're going to bring the back of the left hand through, come right through so that we're letting our left ear and left shoulder rest on the floor. And again, now this time we're going to press the right hand into the floor a little bit more, encouraging that twist, that torsion in the upper back, letting your head turn and look over that right shoulder a little bit if you can. If there's any strain on your neck, you just keep looking to the side. Now come back and stretch the right arm out, extending it out. Take several breaths. To allow yourself to release and to relax into the pose. And now coming back. And hips back onto your heels, stretch out again into here. And now slowly coming back up into a kneeling position. So what we're going to do now, after all of that, um, with dog and downward dog into upward dog, there's been a lot of effort and strain onto your hands and into your wrists. 
So we're going to do a little bit of a stretch for your hands, for your wrists to ease them out. So again, you come into whatever position is comfortable. I'm kneeling here. If I stay with my hips back onto my heels, I might find that I can feel a little bit of uh, pressure on my calves and it's going to affect my circulation a little bit if I'm here for a while. So you can take two blocks. I could take the meditation stool again, or if I have two blocks, I can actually put them underneath my hips and just kneel up on them. And again, that takes the pressure off my calves. But you can kneel up like this, you can come to standing, whatever way feels most comfortable. So this is for easing out your hands, easing out your wrists now. So bring your hands into Namaste. Heels of the hands together. I want you to draw the hands down, keeping the heels of the hands together, feeling the stretch at the back of your wrists. And now coming up and open like a book. Bring the backs of your hands, fingers right into your chest, right out to the wrists if you can, and stretching your thumbs up towards the ceiling. Now come under, 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 and spread those fingers. Full triangles between the fingers. And now bring the pads of the fingers together. Bend at the finger joints, pressing the pads in towards each other, feeling strength, and now letting the fingers come into a stretch. Bring the fingers together, keep the heels of the hands apart, and now bring the heels of the hands together, elbows wide, drawing the hands down. And now coming up, elbows in and open. And now into a fist and flick, and flick, and flick. Then bring your hands together again. And now we're going to press the right hand against the left, drawing them over. Press the left towards the right, stretching it in the opposite direction. And again, opposite. So this is very nice if you've been doing a lot on your hands like cat, like upward dog, if you've been practicing planks and it's a nice way of stretching the hands out, getting them ready for these poses, or again stretching them afterwards. And then bring your hands back to your heart. And just take a breath in and just let it go as a sigh. And then bring the arms down, turn the palms. Breathing in, bringing the arms up overhead, lengthening the spine and exhaling, drawing the hands down back to the heart side. Breathing in again, turning the palms, lifting, looking up, breathing out, bringing the hands down, back to your heart center. And once more, turn the palms, lifting, and then back to the heart center. Keep your eyes closed. And just let it go. And now we give thanks. Om Shanti. Om.